What's up guys? I am back here with the Beamer Utility Tool. Get in focus here, Beamer Utility Tool. And today I'm gonna to show you another tutorial on how to use this. And today it's gonna to be for ABS off in all modes. So right now you can see the ABS flashing right there. I can turn on Race Pro. You can see the ABS is still working right there. It's actually still working right there even. So usually you'd have to turn like, disconnect the brake light and disconnect a few other things to make sure that ABS stays off. But I'm gonna show you how to do it just by using the Beamer Utility Tool. All right, I got the Beamer Utility Tool connected here. Bike is on, connect the same Wi-Fi network. And again, if you guys need to know how to do it, I've got the tutorial there on the top right. When we first did this, I've got a whole lot of tutorials in this thing. So let's go ahead and connect. Reads the VIN number. Okay, first thing we're, we're gonna do here is go to the ABS. And after ABS, we're gonna hit this one, the all gym and whatever that is. And then we're going to click ABS off switch handling. Click on that. Now default is going to say ABS off switch available only in case of no rear light and no license plate light. So it asks you to disconnect lights before you can turn off the ABS. Now we're going to be able to do this in every single mode. Turn off ABS switch available in all modes. Now I'm going to click done. Click code. What a code. Okay, now that that's coded, let's go ahead and check over here. So I'm going to put it into, let's put it in a road mode, like a really lax mode here. So really relaxed mode here to show you that it works in every single mode. I'm going to press. Traction control works. So I'm going to press again, hold. And there we go. Both off. Traction control and ABS and you hold it down. You see it right there. It's not blinking anymore. It's just disabled completely. So let's go ahead and do this now. Let's try and put it into another mode. Race. Got to press and hold it. There you go, ABS is off. You gotta press and hold this button, it's like a series of things. So you can see right there, both are active right now, which means if I start riding the bike, those both those lights will go away. But now this means, the solid right there means traction control is not active. Press and hold it again. Now both of them, the ABS and the traction control are not active. Press and hold it again. Now just the traction control is not active and the ABS, or sorry, the traction control is active and the ABS is not active. When it's solid, it is not active. Now both are active. I'm pressing and holding. Now traction control is deactivated. Now both are active. Now both are deactivated. And that's by pressing and holding this button in a kind of a series of ways, basically. Now if I try the same thing, I go back to stock, the way it was before, done. Hit code. See right there, and it should be done now. Let's check her. You can see that they're both blinking. Yeah, all I can get to deactivate is the traction control and not the ABS. Doesn't matter how many times I'm clicking and holding this thing nothing's happening. It's just the traction control itself that is deactivating and that's it, not the ABS. Now I'll do it one more time again, just to show you guys. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus properly. There we go, ABS switch in all modes. Done. Code it again. And she is wrapped. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing again, pressing and holding. Now they're both enabled, both disabled. Now just ABS is disabled, so you can see this is clearly working. Perfect. That's it, guys. So that shows you in every single mode, even road mode. I can go into road mode now and disable ABS completely. And there it is, gone. Trash control is back on, and I can disable trash control as well. So it gives you kind of a nice option, especially if you've deleted ABS or if you don't want the ABS working while you're trying to ride your bike for a special racing circumstance. Uh, I think this is a great help for you guys. So another free tutorial. And if you guys have any more tutorials for us, please let us know. We're more than happy to make more. We just need some direction. What do you guys need? Let us know. That's it for this one. See you in the next one.